This program takes the input of an array, which will have numbers, and will output how many unique numbers are inside that um inside that string with um with numbers and letters in it. So we one two three four called two three four. We have one two three four two three four. Um, we, um, because um, this one is 1,234 and this one is like 234, it would be, um, it, they're unique numbers, so it would be 2. However, if there was a 1 here, it would only be 1, because 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 are not unique numbers, so there's only one unique number and all. And if there's a 0 here, this counts as 0, um, this counts as 2, 3, 4, and not 0, 2, 3, 4. So if this was 2, 3, 4, and this was 0, 2, 3, 4, it would, um, print just 1, because these are the same numbers. So, um... It will have a function called num different integers number of different integers. It will take the input of an array, and will then make that um array um that string a list, and then count will start off as zero, and digits will start off as an empty string, and memory, which should be the output, will start off as um empty array. It will follow through it, and um using if i is, is numeric, it will see if um if i is a number or not. If it is true, then it will add i to the um, string. If it's not, then it'll, um, so um, if for example one sees one, it'll add it, add it, add it, add it, and then we'll see a c. So that means um that um digit is one two three four, and then we'll see a c. So if digit is not empty, then d will be the integer of digits. And if there's a zero in front of it, it'll get rid of it. Um, so using the integer of digit is required. And then if um if d is not already in memory. Which is um which is the output, then it will add it to memory. Um but if it is, it just won't add it. And then at the end it will make digits empty again. So um digits will have one and then two and then three and then four C C. It will um it will um it'll um add it to the memory. So now one two three four is in. C um now digits back empty, then it'll see is an O and D and E. Um because it um it'll go into the else case every time, but because digits empty it won't do anything. Then once it's a two, it'll add it add it, add it to digit, but then it will weave the array before it can find something else um, to add it to memory. So at the end, uh, at, once it weaves the for loop, it will see if digit is empty. If it isn't, then it will do the same check, see if um, make it an integer, see if it's in memory or not. If it isn't, then it will add it, and then it will return, um, then it will return the length of it, because it's seeing how many um, numbers of the, um, the number of different integers. So it return the length of memory, and then A will call the function and get what is returned and then print it, which in this case would be 2 because it has 1, 2, 3, 4, and 2, 3, 4.